Okay, welcome back. Um, I think what we'll do now is this fender well, and we're going to go back and do that with a spline. So let's go up here to our uh, Shapes tab, click on Line. Let's start with this outer one, and just kind of go around. And I like to use the minimal amount of splines that are actually necessary to create the shape. It's just much easier to do it that way. Okay, so let's pull that back to where it needs to be. Let's go up here to Edit, grab these vertices, and let's just start pulling these vertices out to where they need to be. You can see here I'm working in the front view. So you can see where those vertices are. And let's pull this one out and down just so they kind of match. Okay, then you can see that we need to just kind of move this over a bit here. Okay, so let's grab this middle one, right click it, turn it into a bezier. And let's rotate that. Let's grab this one again, Bezier, and rotate it. And here, Bezier, rotate it so we can get that shape. Okay, so you'll see here it looks a little jagged because what I've done here is in my interpolation, I have it down to two. If you turn that interpolation up, it becomes much smoother but it also creates a ton more polygons that really aren't necessary. Okay, so we have that outer line. I think what we can do here, though, is kind of increase... Let's eh, just increase that a little bit to get that a little bit more smooth and round. And let's rotate this it's a little straighter. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we need to create another spline for this. We're going to go here and do the same thing, the same number, because we need to connect those up. Okay, right there. Pull this out to the outside of that fender, like so. Go into Edit, or into, uh, grab. Let's grab these vertices, pull those over. Let's grab this one, pull it up and over, down a little bit, just get it. Match that a little bit. Let's right click that one, go to Bezier. Let's rotate that straight. Let's get this one and Bezier and rotate it a bit. Same thing here. And Let's get those rotated until they're nice and straight. Here we can rotate that slightly. Okay. So now we have the inner and the outer part of that fender well, as you can see here. So now we need to add another line in the middle. So we're going to go here, 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 and here and then pull that one over in between those other two. I'm going to go into edit mode, grab these, pull those out, grab this, pull it out and up so that it matches that. Get these over just a bit. And again, I need to convert these to Bezier Rotate those, Bezier, get that curve, and you could spend a lot more time on these to make sure that your curves are really nice, but uh, for the sake of not being, uh, taking an hour and a half for each video, uh, I'm doing it pretty quickly. So let's grab this outer spline, and let's hit F4 so we can see it. And let's right click it and let's convert it to an editable spline. And then let's attach these other two. Boom, boom, okay. Now let's go up here to Vertex. And we need to do some refine and connect. And we're going to connect here, here, here. Right click. Whoop. There we go. 
and then we're going to refine again. And then we're going to go here, 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 and all the way around. Okay, so here, here, and here. Okay, now we can grab these and begin to kind of straighten them up a little bit. Okay, let's look at it here. And these need to be rounded out a bit more here, so let's grab these two. Slightly, this one round it out a bit. Okay, here you can see this one. Let's pull that out and up a bit. Just make sure that's nice and round. Same thing here. Pull that out, up a bit. Okay. Okay, so you can see here that we have the shape pretty well. Let's grab this. Actually, let's grab this one. Kind of pull it down and over so that it's on top of the other. Pretty good. Okay, so again, we need to grab these points. We need to fuse and weld all the way around. We go here, fuse. Weld here, uh, fuse and weld, and fuse and weld. Okay, now we can go up here to the surface modifier, add that surface modifier. Let's go up here, add that blue material that we created. Okay, we have this. Let's right click that again with your patch topology set to 2 so it creates minimal amount of polygons. There we go. Turn on your NERMS. We have that. Okay, let's go up here. Unhide all. There we go. Now you can see those pieces from before. So we have the top of the fender, this fender well, the hood, and then we can create these pieces here to close this, this piece here, this piece here, and we'll attach those to this fender well, and then we'll just continue on around the front. Okay, so that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.